Toss a coin to your witcher, ho oh, valley of plenty, ho oh, valley of plenty, oh. Hi everyone, my name is Kate, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys have watched Witcher by Netflix, or was playing the game, or maybe even read the book. It's an amazing world full of great characters, such as Yennefer. Yennefer is a witch and is famous for her immortal beauty. She always dressed in black and white clothing. She used lilac and gooseberry perfumes. She had violet eyes and raven black hair. I can't make my hair black, but I really like her eyes color and her makeup, her dark green shadows. So my effect includes the following steps. Add in shadows, change eyes color, and yes, it will work on Instagram. Changing face shape a little bit, make lips fuller, nose thinner, and I want cheekbones. And finally, sparks of fire to finalize our magical character. YouTube doesn't like long videos, so I decided to upload a short version on this YouTube channel and a full extended version on my Skillshare classes. If you'd like to see the full version and other advanced tutorials, find the link below and get two months access totally free. I mean, completely free. And you will be able to watch not only my tutorials, but all others. And believe me, they have many great courses. First thing first, the makeup. I choose this dark green and start drawing using a very soft brush. Let's do it for both eyes. Alright, make the background layer invisible and save our shadows as a PNG file. Besides the makeup, I need to edit my eye lenses. I found this picture of contact lens on the web and of course you guys see that it's not violet and the background is not transparent. Nah, not good, but don't worry, I'll deal with it. The white background can be easily cut in Photoshop. And since the lens is light blue, that is almost white, we can change the color in Spark AR later. Ok, let's create a new project and add a face mesh. I've already added retouching material. Ok, next let's add another face mesh for our makeup. Put it on our face tracker. So, let's call it makeup. I'm gonna add our dark green shadows here. So, to do that, I add another material. Rename it to makeup. And um, shader type is face paint. And now I need to choose my texture. New texture. Mm, here I have my shadow. Mm. <laughs> it looks pretty funny on his face, but let's change it to mine. Alright. Maybe it's too green? <laughs> we have this uh, render options here, so I can change the opacity and brightness. Before adding the eyes color, I want to change the face shape a little bit. To do that, I add another face mesh. Put it on uh, my face tracker again. Let's rename it. <laughs> well, it looks funny with my mic. <laughs> okay. Um, rename it to... Deform. 
example. And here we have deformation. Uh, so what I've done is uh, I added, so I selected a 3D face, which I have created earlier. How to do it? I have another video where you guys can see how to do it, but um, shortly it's um, go to this website, upload 3D face from reference asset pack and deform it the way you want. But remember that Spark Air team doesn't like and doesn't approve effects with plastic surgery. So make sure that your face is still natural, it still looks natural after your deformation, okay? So what I did is that uh, this cheekbones, my nose is thinner now and my lips is fuller. So if I click on visible, you see, okay. Next, let's add our violet eyes. So. I add a plain object. Okay. My face is too big here. Okay, so now the plain object is uh, behind my face mask. <laughs> All right. Next, let's add a material. New material. This one. Name it to eyes. Okay, now I choose my color, I choose my lenses, new texture, okay. Alright, so here is my eye lens, but of course it's not on its place. <laughs> um, let's change the color to violet. Okay, so, and I have two eyes, so right click on my plane object and duplicate it. Now I have two lenses. Where is the second one? Let's move it to see it. Here it is. Okay. Okay. And now we need to place them on our eyes. I select my plan object, go to the inspector panel and find this actions button, button here. So click position on face and left eyeball. This patches were created automatically and it makes your work faster, which is great. So first of all, I need to adjust the size. Okay. Nice. Capacity, I need to add a capacity. Great. Okay, so now I see the problem. When I close my eyes, the lens is still here. It shouldn't be like that. Really, shouldn't. So, I'm gonna fix it. So to do it, uh, find face tracker here and the face output and let's find left eye closed all right left eye closed and the next patch is not not okay so if my left eye is not closed then I should see uh, this lens this plain object so i go ahead and create the visible uh i create the patch from this visible option here and now i just need to connect them good so now when i close my eyes no lens is here great <laughs> So, um, we need to do the same thing for our right eye, but before we do it, I want you to pay your attention that although I chose uh, left eyeball, Spark uh, have added eyelid patch instead of eyeball. 
that's okay because you know that Instagram doesn't support eyeball patch and I don't know why, I think they should support it, but okay. But this eyelid patch can work good with eyes color. All you need to do is just add this eye closed patch and not patch. And that's all, it works pretty good. I want to do the same thing for my right eye. Okay. Test it. <laughs> it. It works good. Really good. I love this violet eyes, really. Love it. Yay! Check it out! I look pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. Okay. <laughs> Where's my girl? So, the last thing I want to do is to add fire sparks. Flying fire sparks. So, to do that, we add what? Great particle system. Add object. Particle system. Okay, my face is too big now. Okay, and it's somewhere, somewhere here. Okay, alright. Thank you. Do not connect it to your face tracker, okay? Let's first add a material. New material. So to rename it to fire. And I select new texture. I'm gonna use this fireball. This is PNG file, transparent background again. Okay. So, where is it? That's it. Okay. You need to move it. Okay. It's uh, it, it's somewhere here. All right. So yeah, I like I really like this fireball. It works fine for me. But I'm gonna choose uh, this material and uh, adjust the opacity a little bit. Maybe like this. Okay. Mm, now I need to move my emitter. So let's go back to emitter, go to inspector panel and type ring. I just want to adjust it the way I want it, but of course you can adjust it just the way you want it. And yes, now the particles fly all around me or all around you, <laughs> uh, which is great. Well, I, I really like the result. It, it looks good. It looks good. <laughs> but uh, let me know if you that if you think that these shadows are too much. Okay, just leave leave comments below, right? If you have black hair, this effect should work even better for you. I have submitted this effect for review, but I don't know how long it takes uh, for it to be approved because I used this uh, deformation of my face effect. And you know, when you use uh, face shape, um, it always takes more than average time. So, but anyway, you can check out my Instagram, okay? You find all the links below. See you soon. Toss a coin to your witcher, oh valley of plenty, oh valley of plenty, oh. <clears throat> One more time. Toss a coin to your witcher, oh valley of plenty, oh valley of plenty. Oh, and together, your turn. <laughs>